Well, I'm Naranjan Dala from uh, University of Manitoba uh, in Winnipeg, Canada. And I am so honored that I have been invited here by Professor Kimchi to participate in this great meeting, which I think is in a great city. Boston is one of the uh, real great uh, seat of medicine. That's what I believe. Uh, they have done so much. And today he invited somebody very important in this meeting. Uh, Professor Brownwald was there. He's the father of modern cardiology. And uh, we had a very colorful uh, opening ceremony. And it was very, very great. And, but I'll, at the same time, I did present a, a, an, uh, uh, a talk uh, on diabetic cardiomyopathy. You see, in diabetes, uh, the, there is a dysfunction uh, of heart takes place. And most of the people, about 80% of the people, uh, in fact, in diabetic people, die of heart disease. And a uh, lot of people thought that it is, is a problem of uh, ischemia or atherosclerosis, but that's not true, that there is a, also a problem with the myocardium, that the tissue without any problem with the coronaries uh, does get into problems. And I think they, this happens because uh, very many hormones and neurohormones are released uh, in the body and their levels in the plasma go very up. And when over a chronic uh, period, they produce uh, oxidative stress. And they, they really uh, get the heart into problem. Another feature which, I, which is a very new uh, feature I presented was that platelets get activated. Platelets get activated and the level of a, uh, they release 5-HT uh, as a um, hormone in the body, and uh, that creates a uh, problem. I think uh, the moment we block that effect of 5-HT, uh, 5-hydroxytryptamine, uh, we find out that the heart function is mar markedly improved. And so this, is, this uh, puts the role of uh, a platelet activation uh, really uh, in uh, the development of cardiac dysfunction in diabetes.